bringing you the brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Roid Mon uh, Field Spell coming out of the V-Jump Special Pack um, today. So let's just jump into it because there's actually quite a few things to talk about with this card because it's actually a really decent field spell. So yeah, the the first, li first lines of text is uh, you can only use the, uh, the, the name's effect of, each of this card. Yeah, you can only use each of this card's effects once per turn. So basically, it's basically you can only use the effect of Mega Roid City once per turn. Which is fine. If you activate any of this card's effects, you cannot activate or you cannot special summon from the extra deck during your during this turn except fusion monsters. So you can't you can fusion summon, but you can't do anything else, which is fine. Uh, that's I guess it's a little bit of a stipulation on the Roy Dark type a little bit. I guess even more so than they need to. Um, so let's just jump right in the first effect. The first effect is you could target one other card you control, destroy it, and if you do, add one 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 Roy card from your deck to your hand. So basically, what this card does is it searches itself, which is pretty good. It searches every speed roid and searches all the roid monsters which is pretty good i think uh this effect is really good because it does something that that roid the, the roid archetype not speed roids need um quite heavily of and that's searchability i don't think the deck has very much searchability um and this card does definitely does push it in the right direction of being somewhat viable in that aspect it's gonna need a little bit more searchability to be i guess viable but we'll see how how the rest of the support if, they, if we get any more support in the future plays out. Um, so that's I think this is a pretty good effect so far. Uh, the second effect is during damage calculations when a roid monster you, you control uh, attacks or is attacked, you can send one roid monster from your deck to the graveyard this, during the, during this damage cal calculations only. Switch the original attack and defense of that monster you control. So basically, it just swaps the attack and defense, kind of similar to Demon Crab King, where you would detach your material to swap the uh, the, the attack and defense of, uh, of, of Diamond Crack King, making him a 3,000. Um, this synergizes pretty well with Submarine Roid, because you can switch, make Submarine Roid's attack 1,800, swing directly, and then when it goes to defense mode at the end of the damage calculations, it becomes 1,800 defense again, making it a considerable wall. Um, the cards like Gyroid and uh, Drillroid, you probably don't want to activate this effect onto, because because their defense are kind of mediocre, and actually Gyroid's effect, uh, attack, and defense are the same, so it wouldn't do that much. I think um, there's another card, uh, Truckroid, has 1800 defense, I, I believe, as well, and you can swap it to become an 1800 beat stick for the damage calculations, which is pretty good. And I think it has a pretty decent effect, if I remember correctly. Um, it, like, if it destroys a monster by battle or something like that, it can uh, equip it as a material. Uh, as an equip card and kind of be pretty good and gains its attack so i'm not really sure i don't remember uh but i think this is a very good card it does a lot of what the archetype needs to do and i think swapping the attack and defense of certain monsters in the road archetype could be very beneficial for you so yeah and we've got so much you guys think about this card in the comment section down below i'll see you guys in the next video this has been team at metamorphose and i'll be signing out